Yo, what is up guys? This is mainly for my students and for more advanced people inside of Facebook ads, but this is also a very, very big fundamental because nobody ever taught you how to name your ad sets. And believe it or not, it's extremely important when you go down the line. So basically, uh, when you, it's extremely hard to scale when you don't know where you're split testing, uh, when you're moving from four to five figures, even five to six figures. I see a lot of ad accounts that their naming conventions like shit, like completely ugly and garbage. And I would have to walk in there and clean it all up. But just in case any of you guys will ever work with me, um, here's how I name it. And I'm very, very stingy on it because it's very, very important. It's a minor thing, but it adds very hard. If you don't name it like this, you're going to have to go inside each of your ad sets, click edit, and you're like, oh, I changed the country or whatever. Okay. So let's just start with country. I just wanted to make sure I, thought I wasn't sharing my screen. Okay. So yeah, country. Let's start with country. WW means worldwide. Top means the best and top countries. So let's just say you're doing worldwide first and then you figured out that it was Australia, United Kingdom. Those are your top countries. And maybe you have like five other countries. You don't want to write them all in here. So you're just going to name it top. Of course, you know, Aus for Australia, US for US. Um, and you just want to put it in here. You always want to make it as short as possible. As short as possible because the longer this is, the harder it is to understand what's inside. Right? So, and then age range. I usually always recommend going 18 plus in the beginning, but it really depends on your niche, right? So if it's like, you know, specifically for a very young demographic for my nose is like, oh, it's horrible for like makeup or whatever. Uh, then you definitely want to do like 18, a little lower age range, right? Especially because the older people are just going to waste their money. But let's just say you're 18 plus, 18 plus, 18, self-explanatory, right? Cool. Next one is interest. So this one you can play around with, right? You're doing dog lovers. So you, uh, there's an interest called dog lovers and there's an interest called dog uh, enthusiasts or something like that. And usually when there's enthusiasts or, or, or something like that, I just keep it very, very short so that you or, who, I don't know, as long as you can remember it. Because <clears throat> if you spell it all out, it's super long. It's horrible. You want to keep it as short as possible. Okay, so let's just say you're doing engaged shopper, right? Then you want to do dog lover. You want to do this. ES for engaged shopper. Let's say um, you're doing something else, right? You're doing top spenders. Whatever convention makes, makes a lot of sense for you. And then active credit card user. And then online shopper. Right, these are the top four that have been doing well for me, but you know, Facebook is shutting this down because there's privacy issues, right? If you bought a dildo a month ago or you bought a dildo, dildo yesterday, then you don't want Zuckerberg or you don't want Facebook to know. I just woke up, my hair is so, my hair is so floofy. So yeah, uh, Facebook and Zuckerberg is having some problems with that, okay? So let me make this just, just a little aesthetic. I'll pop this link so you guys can all view it uh, in the description. But I'm just going to keep this short and simple, right? So what the heck does P-U-R mean? So the next one is basically your optimization, right? Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. Hopefully you guys can remember what that means. Optimize. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't stay bold. It did stay bold. And what that means is P-U-R is for purchase. And you guys already get it. ATC, you guys already know. Um, so the reason for this is usually keep you off for quite a long time until you find a winner ad set. Let's just say a winner ad set is usually, uh, and this is what I've noticed. So it's usually three or more purchases and that's when you can play around, right? Uh, you duplicate it and you have one interest that is add to cart instead of purchase. You have one that's 18 to 24 instead of this. So it's very, very easy to separate it once you have a convention like this. I really, really recommend it, okay? Please follow it. And then the last one, of course, your budget. Very, very self-explanatory. Uh, let's go a little deeper inside of this because this is very important. I have a lot of uh, clients and I have a lot of uh, students and I want to make sure you guys understand um, how to name this correctly when I look into your ad account. I don't want to explode my brain looking at your uh, 
your ad account names, right? So there's a few things that come to my mind. Let's just say, I mean, if it's makeup, then it's very, very obvious that you're only doing females, right? But let's just say you're doing a freaking fidget spinner and realize that only, so this would be an example of how one looks like. 18, ooh, 18 plus, and fidget spinner, let's just say you're doing no interest. By the way, that drives your CPM very, very low. So if you have a product that's like a fidget spinner, no direct targeting, that no interest will save your life. Okay, so let's just say you were doing fidget spinners and male did good. Then you would put it right after the age. That's where I put it. So let's just say males, right? And then uh, devices. Let's say you break down, and breakdown is very, very important. I can't believe a lot of people don't know what that is. I'm definitely going to address it in another video. Don't want to change topics in one video. I, I have a bad habit of doing that because there's so much to learn. And these things are very, very crucial for your success inside of Facebook ads. So when I was talking about devices, right, or let's just say your platform, you realize that Instagram worked best. I used to put Instagram mobile, but obviously it's Instagram. Uh, it's on your phone or whatever. Um, let's just say you break it down even more into devices. iPhone. Boom. You put it right there after interest. That's how I name it, and that's how I might have my conventions. Let's just say you're vertical scaling, right? And then after this, after the budget, let's just say you were scaling up to $7.50. I usually keep it flat numbers, but I have seen uh, 50 cents, 25 cents work well, really, really well, but it's not a big, big thing. Okay, so after that, I usually do this. And you have one ad set. Boom, 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 boom. And what you would do is this. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five. So you, these, these are different versions. And I don't know if you guys heard of uh, optimization and different stages and how random Facebook is when you're running ad sets, right? So if you run five ad sets right now, like this, I can guarantee you they won't be the same. I mean, maybe one or two might be exactly the same, but that's very, very random and very, very unlikely. So let's just say four and one stick on. Perfect, kick out the rest. And that's what you do with uh, ver vertical scaling. And the only point whenever you duplicate like this and vertical scale is if you have an ad set that has three or more, okay? Three or more, that's when you can confirm it. Let's just say you get two purchases or one purchases. And a lot of people, they did to be like, I want more sales. I want to start scaling. It's not ready yet. Um, then what happens is, let's just say you won't get another sale for another four days and you're trying to scale it. Then it's obviously not a winner and you're wasting your time and money with it. So be very, very patient and have discipline inside of Facebook ads because that has been the crucial, crucial thing that has led to success inside of Facebook ads because of. Uh, marketers are very very uh, they want results like right now like you want sales right now but the people that can hold on the longest and build the highest quality ad sets are the ones that win okay so you're not going to make a million dollars tomorrow so don't run like a hundred dollar ad sets if you can't confirm that it works okay so thank you so much for your time but this was a video that i had to get off my back and uh, i didn't even eat breakfast yet I just brushed my teeth and i had to film this video right away because I had to send this to a lot of people. So hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully, and please, name your answers like this or I'm going to slap you across the face. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day and kill today and make today great, okay?